Hey guys. Hello. I'm gonna cook Addie. Mmm. I probably wouldn't taste very good. You look like a griddle. Hey. <laughs> no, we're gonna cook circuits. Um, I picked up this um, convection uh, reflow oven. Toaster oven. Yeah. Well, we're not well, cooking no toast longer in for it. Toast. Yeah. So. Um, Toxic fumes and whatnot. I asked Addie to design a couple of boards for me to practice on here, and one of them is a an M sop, and one of them is a T sop. Breakout board. And we got a couple of um, uh, sample parts from microchip. Yes. Yeah. Uh, these are digital potentiometers. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna try to cook these and I got the solder paste under there and uh, this is sort of like a first go for us so we'll see how it goes. So how long are you going to try cooking it for? Until I see the little solder flow. <laughs> and then you stop it immediately or? Yeah. Okay. I think so. We're going to end up with some baked boards guys. It's going to be great. We're going to have boards for dinner. Are these like TV dinners? These are like... Uh, PCB dinners. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Who would have thought starting out this show years and years ago that we'd end up reflowing surface mount components? So I'm basically watching the little solder there and when it when it reflows it's very obvious. Oh yes, by the way, if you have not already, do go to tindy.com slash toymakers, T-Y-M-K-R-S, and uh, check out some of the kits we have. We have uh, high-pass filters, low-pass filters, um, rotary encoders, um, and... You guys don't need to reflow those. They're like normal. They're just straight up through-hole solder, Titan. Yep. Yep. And everybody so. keeps asking if we're going to be doing a kit for the Proto Synth. Yes. Yes, we will. We are. We're we working are. up yep. to that point. Yep. We got a lot of tricks we got to figure out first here. And we're going to be putting up quite a few more. Um, there's tons of documentation with it because uh, there's both documentation for those who just need the kit parts and they're good on their own, and there's also documentation for newbies such as myself. So. Oh, there goes that one. Hopefully that one will come right after so I can get that first one out. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Bing! So, there still be melt they will still be melted here if I pull them out real quickly. You can see them. Ooh, heat fuse. You can see they're still shiny there on the pins. I'll take an up close picture here in just a little bit. Cool. All right. Now well, it's time to put some header pins on them and test them. All right. So you know, you guys know how we love our cigar box uh, creations, and uh, well, we've been working on kits like we just mentioned, and Whisker had to rig up a quick photo booth that uh, would not take forever to make. So, what do we got? We've okay, got... um, so with the photo booth, the basic idea is you want to have nice even light and you want to have a background that is uh, basically disappears into the photograph. Yes. So um, for lights, uh, when you do parallax um, propeller conference, they've got Woo. these um, cold cathodes that they usually hand out. They have every time Freebie I've been table. there. Yeah, and we had a, a power supply, an appropriate power supply sitting around for these guys uh, and I used see. diameters two-sided tape excellent to, to hook that on there and that that's not going anywhere thank you 3M yeah so um yeah it powers both those lights and I needed to cut into the cigar box this is a cardboard box of a shape that's very not appropriate for making cigar boxes so it's just gonna sitting around doing nothing here. Mm -hmm. We use cigar boxes for storing parts, you know, anything guitars. like that. Um, well, I anything that's not guitar actually, shaped, we use for other stuff. We actually have another cigar box, I mean Winston. Power supplies, you know. 
speakers, whatever. That's you know. really funny. We have three different creations. And so I didn't oh. even notice that. <laughs> yeah, there's like random hardware boxes over here too. Like, yeah. And uh, yeah, miscellaneous electronics bits. Yeah, it's uh, it's sort it's of a very, theme. It's a very versatile. Yeah, cigar boxes thing. have always been used for this. So That's anyway, funny. Um, ones that aren't good for guitars, <laughs> they get turned into other stuff. Yep. So we got the lights in here, and I had to cut in little notches. I want, I needed to do this quickly and cheaply, so this was like the the best idea I came up with. Yep. And we picked up some of this uh, uh, plastic. textured plastic, yeah, yep. um, when we were in California. It's like mildly translucent. Yeah. So I thought it might be good for background on a photo booth. So what I did is I cut the sheet to match this and then I just set it in there and it, it bends around the corners, right? Yep. It's just flexible. So it gets rid of two of my corners for me mm -hmm. and then I stapled it in um, so it's nice and secure. I put a sheet of plastic, a uh, sheet of paper between two sheets of plastic so it gets that nice white effect. Mm -hmm. And um, also on the floor of it here there's another sheet. So if I need to set something here and shoot into that. I've got a nice matching floor. Sure. Um, so yeah, we've been shooting our kits in this. And uh, let me turn on the, the lights for you guys. Woo! So the typical ways that I use this is that I set it like that. I actually turn the lights off usually, right? Yeah. And then I take my picture. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> This is a very dramatic camera. Right. It has its own reverb system. <laughs> All right, so I'll do that um, for like glamour shots there, or like this, if it'll set nicely there. Because mm -hmm. this has no curves if you shoot into it. There are no corners, mm -hmm. right? So if I set it right there, I get nothing in the background, and mm -hmm. it's perfect. And then for shooting like the components of kits, let me grab some components here. We'll just grab some random stuff. Because, you know, we got like a thousand things. I just put them in there, and then I shoot from the top down, um, keeping my framing so that I can't see the lights or the edges, and it just gives it a perfect white background with nice, even illumination. And because these things are lines, mm -hmm. um, any spot on the thing that's curved picks up uh, cool, bendy... Um, like the candy <clears throat> look. Uh, specular highlights yeah. on the surface, which is really cool, and I like it. Cool. So anyway, that's our little DIY photo booth. Yep. Um, so yeah, this week, reflow kits. I really think that's funny that we have three different creations. I totally didn't even notice that before. Well, before. we are the toy makers. That's great. Okay, cool. Well, we will see you guys next week. Yep. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.